Hey, welcome back friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. So today we are going to be showing a couple of methods that you can use to train summoning during Double Experience Weekend. Now, if you don't already know, summoning is quite possibly, if not definitely, the most overpowered thing to train during Double Experience Weekend. This is mainly because of these charms here. Obviously it takes a lot of time to collect these charms and the actual training of summoning does not take much time if any time at all. So if you are actually training the summoning skill which is using these charms and training the skill during double experience weekend, you're essentially getting double time on all the time it took you to collect all those charms as well as saving money and also getting insane experience rates. Uh, I know there's some ways with blue charms you can get up to 10 million XP per hour. So with double experience weekend that would be 20 million XP per hour. That means you can get 200 mil summoning in 10 hours. That is just absolutely ludicrous. That should not be the case but that's how double experience work weekend works. Um, so first method is going to be the most overpowered method. If you are willing to spend a little bit of extra money, this is going to be your best method of training summoning during the double experience weekend. Uh, I am going to have two other alternative methods, but this is going to be your best possible method of training summoning. So essentially what you want to do is come to Taverly here. Make sure that you have any of the summoning outfit pieces equipped. Uh, I currently don't have any of them, so I just have the master camouflage set on just because it looks cool. That's about it. Uh, the next thing that you're going to want to do is, uh, I totally forgot about it, but you're going to want to have a spirit gem. I'm actually going to be running back to the bank to get the spirit gem because it is that good. Uh, if you don't already know about spirit gems, essentially how they work is they save you charms, which essentially save you time. And honestly, as long as you have Perfendus unlocked, you should be using these spirit charms for sure. Uh, I have spirit emeralds. Uh, you can combine them together to make one that if you check the charges here. Uh, I have 500 charges left on my spirit gem. Usually they'd only have 20. So I combined 25 of them together and got 500 charges on one spirit gem. This is going to be very useful for double experience weekend because you're not going to be running back and forth to a bank. You're going to be just sitting at this altar. So what you do is you bring the pouches, the spirit shards, the charms that you're planning on using, as well as noted all of your, uh, I don't know what you call them, the secondaries, I guess. Uh, you're going to bring all those secondaries with you and come to Taverly. I would recommend everybody using this method, but there are going to be a couple other people that don't want to waste a little bit of money, but it's totally worth it. So what you're going to do is you're going to trade mage sticks here and sell all of the secondaries that you have to him. Now one thing to note is that you're gonna have to be a little bit fast with this because these do degrade over time uh, so you're also gonna want to buy a couple extra you're not gonna want to buy the exact amount that you actually have but eventually this will tick down to 1453 if I wait here long enough. Uh, hopefully I'm not gonna wait here long enough though I'm just gonna go ahead and buy them all uh, that way you can have everything unnoted. Go ahead and use it on the altar. Uh, as you saw, I got a 10,500 XP drop there. Uh, and then I'm going to personally be making these into scrolls. There's going to be a couple alternative methods. I'll explain those in a couple seconds. Uh, next thing you're going to do is buy the yak hides again and just continuously do this over and over again. The first alternative is going to be to actually sell them to Mage Sticks. Uh, he does buy them for a decent price. 1709 is not too bad for a uh, pack yak pouch. But honestly, you could get a much better price if you use the GE. So go ahead and examine. This is actually worth 4000 So you're going to be losing a lot of money if you're actually selling them to him. That's why I'm going to be making these into the Winter Scrolls. At least I'm going to be getting like 2.8k every single time instead of just the 2k. And honestly it gives you a little bit of extra summoning experience anyhow. So just continuously do this over and over again. Buy the Yak Hides, go to the Obelisk, make them on the Obelisk, use the Obelisk again to make scrolls, and then buy the next Yak Pouch. The last thing I want to mention for this is going to be that 
hopefully during Double Experience Weekend, people are going to be putting a portable deposit box right here. Now, if people put a portable deposit box right here, then that means that you can actually bank all of your pouches, getting the full 4,000 or however much the pouches are worth from your pouch instead of having to make them into scrolls, which slows you down a little bit as well as being a slightly inefficient use of your money. So if somebody is using a portable deposit box, go ahead and find the world that somebody is using on it. Usually they'll put it right here. All you do is click right there. And if you haven't already seen my portable deposit box video, the link will be down in the description down below. You can just use it like any other deposit box and actually deposit those pouches, saving you quite a bit of money. Unfortunately, nobody is going to be doing this a week before Double Experience Weekend when I'm making this video. So there's not going to be a deposit box right here during this time. So just, it is what it is. Can't complain too much about it just because I'm trying to make this video a couple weeks in advance. Uh, I am wasting some charms, but I'm already 99 summoning, not a big deal. So the pros and cons of Taverly summoning. Uh, the pros are going to be that it's an insane number of pouches. This is going to be the fastest way of training during Double Experience Weekend, which is very valuable. The faster experience that you can get, the better. Uh, the cons, though, is that without a portable deposit box, you're obviously making these into scrolls, which is going to be losing you a decent amount of money, if not a lot of money, depending on which type of pouch you're using. Pakyaks are actually one of the better things to make into scrolls because people actually use the winter storage scroll. There are some pouches that nobody is using any of the scrolls, so it's going to lose you quite a bit of money if you try to do this with a lot of the pouches, honestly. The next disadvantage is you're buying the secondaries from this guy. So I'm actually spending 50 GP every single time I buy a Yak Hide. Some of the things actually cost like five to 10,000 GP. Uh, I did sell them for about 10% of what it costs here, but every single time that I'm unnoting essentially these Yak Hides, I'm losing quite a bit of money. Uh, but it is nice, it is the fastest experience, so you have to take that into account. For Double Experience Weekend, this is absolutely overpowered. Honestly, unless if you're trying to get up to level 99, you shouldn't be training, summoning on any time except for Double Experience Weekend anyhow. So, I would just recommend using this for all of summoning training, but especially during Double Experience Weekend, make sure you're using this method. The second method that is at least semi-useful to use during Double Experience Weekend, if you're not willing to use Taverly, is going to be Prifindus. Obviously, this comes with pretty high requirements, seeing as how you need to be able to get into Prifindus, and it's a high-level content area. So you're going to need 75 and a lot of different skills to even use this method, but if you have Prifindus unlocked, it's going to be the second best way of training summoning. Now, I personally would recommend using the teleport method that I'm using on the screen right now. Uh, I'm using it through a master camouflage set but in a tuned crystal seed or a crystal seed either one of those will work uh, if you don't already know how to make an attuned crystal seed or how the crystal seed recharging works go ahead and check the links down below i'll have a video that i made about those uh, but basically all you do is you teleport to the amla district you make any pouches that you can and then you teleport back to a bank uh, if you have the attuned crystal seed you can teleport back to the ithil bank uh, I do have the Togo Zo Ring on, so that's another option. Anywhere that you can get to a bank quickly, uh, Ring and Dueling is another option if you don't already have another teleport to a bank. So pros of this method is going to be that you get to bank in between, which means that you can deposit all your pouches for sure. You don't need a portable deposit box to bank all your pouches. It is an extremely fast method of getting back and forth to an altar. There's very minimal running. Uh, the teleports, if you don't have the loading screens disabled, you are going to have a decent amount of loading screens probably, so I would recommend disabling your loading screens. But as long as you have loading screens disabled, you should be good to go on this method. Also, if you have the Voice of Saren active during the hour that you're training summoning, you actually get a larger amount of XP per charm because you get the 20% increase on top of the double experience. So if Voice of Saren is on Prifindus, it is going to be slower XP per hour still, but it's going to be your best XP per charm if you're really worried about how many charms you're using. Now the cons is that you obviously need to unlock Prifindus and you need the teleports. 
But honestly, this is a really good method. It's just not quite as fast as Taverly, which is why it's on number two. The third and final method probably isn't even worth mentioning, but just seeing as how I want to have the entire guide fully laid out, I'm going to go ahead and mention the Piscantorian Hunter area. It does have an obelisk extremely close to a teleport that you have. Um, honestly, if you're choosing between this and Taverly, just do Taverly. It's going to be saving you so much time that it's definitely worth it. But... Taverly is just o so overpowered that you should be using that over this method. Uh, so you are going to be needing a spirit kiat, K-Y-A-T-T, -T, in case you don't know how to spell it. Uh, it does require 57 summoning to summon it. If you don't have 57 summoning, you shouldn't be using this method anyway. There's no better method than this. You could have to run back and forth to Obelisk, so use Taverly instead. So if you have 57 summoning, this may be worth using. It is going to be the fastest method except for running, but it's still decently slow. You're still going to be teleporting there, going to the obelisk, going down a ladder. It takes a little bit of time. Um, and on top of that, you are teleporting back and forth, and you cannot have another familiar summoned. Uh, you don't have a beast of burden familiar, so that's another con of this method. Now, the pro of this method is it's faster than running back and forth to an obelisk. So if you're going to choose between running back and forth between Taverly and the Taverly Bank, or even using a uh, home teleport every single time, this is definitely the faster method, so go ahead and use this. There's very little requirements to this method. You only need the 57 summoning. That's the only restriction to it. Uh, and you do get to bank in between every single time. So if you're really strapped on cash, this may be worthwhile doing, but... In my opinion, just spend a little bit of extra money, spend an extra 10 minutes making some money before Double Experience Weekend, and do the Taverly method instead if you're just trying to get as fast of experience as possible and you don't have Prefendus unlocked. Hopefully you guys all enjoy these three different methods of training summoning during Double Experience Weekend. I hope you guys all use Taverly. If you guys have another method that you think I missed, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. I would love it if you leave a like for all the Double Experience Weekend gains. And as always, if you want to see the rest of my Double Experience Weekend training videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. See all my future content. As always, have a good one.